Today, the church honors a princess who became a saint, Elizabeth of Hungary. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki with some thoughts on how the love of God and the love of neighbor go together. Elizabeth was only 14 when she married, and she had three children before her husband died. She became a lay Franciscan and devoted the rest of her short life to caring for the poor and sick. Her holiness and charity were so universally recognized that within four years of her death at the age of 24, she was declared a saint in the year 1235. Pope Benedict, a few years before he became Pope, spoke to some bishops and talked about Karl Marx, whose theories led to communism. He said, Karl Marx held that Christianity had had a millennium and a half to demonstrate its capacity to deal with poverty, inequality, and injustice, and had only succeeded in proving its incapacity to do so. Therefore, new ways had to be employed. And for decades, many were convinced that the Marxist socialist system was now the way, finally, to achieve human equality, to eliminate poverty, and to bring peace to the world. We can see what horrors and massacres were left behind by a social theory and policies that took no account of God. No, without God, things cannot go well. But what about Marx's point that Christianity has had time to solve the world's problems and it's failed? G.K. Chesterton once said, the Christian ideal has not been tried and found wanting, it has been found difficult and left untried. You see, it's not easy to love like the saints did, but in the end, that's our only hope for peace on earth and forever in heaven.